So my dear friends, the next chapter is court of law. All things related with the court procedure and law will discuss in this chapter. Friends, first we'll start with few definition. The first is IPC. What is the full form of IPC? IPC is Indian Penal Code. Indian Penal Code. This law was implemented in 1860 in India. A very old law. Bahut purana kanun hai. And what is IPC? IPC is related with crime. All the definition of crime, all the definition of crime, as well as punishment of crime, definition of crime and the punishment of crime, these are given in a very important law in India, which is known as IPC. IPC. Now the second important law, that is CRPC. This important law was implemented in 1972-1973. And if you see the full form of CRPC, it is CR means criminal, P means procedure, and C means code, criminal procedure code. Actually, sir, I would like to highlight one thing. It is a procedure. It is a procedure by which, by which criminal gets punishment. Every procedure. So, I am highlighting again and again every procedure. Arrest of a person, investigation, summon, bail, warrant, court procedure, and the judgment of the court also. So every procedure for punishment of criminal, every procedure for punishment of criminal, this procedure will be part of CRPC. Here procedure word is a very important. When you arrest someone, it's a procedure. When you investigate, it's a procedure. Bail, summon, warrant, everything judgment everything is a part of crpc and my dear friend the total number of crpc are 484 and the total number of ipc are 511 now i would like to add one more thing iea what is iea iea is indian evidence act iea is indian evidence act and it was implemented in 1872. 1872. What is IEA? If you see, the IEA is all about evidences and all about witnesses. So every witness and every evidence is a part of Indian Evidence Act. The number of Indian Evidence Act are 167. 167. 1872 में implement हुआ. So what is IPC? Definition of the crime and punishment of crime. जुर्म क्या है? जुर्म की सजा क्या? That is IPC. Procedure for punishment, arrest, investigation, summon, bail, warrant. This is CRPC. And a very very important word, my dear friend. IEA, Indian Evidence Act. How many clauses are there? 167. Every witness and evid every evidence is a part of Indian Evidence Act. Now I would like to tell you one thing. If you have oral evidence and if you have documentary evidence, two type of evidence, oral or documentary, which is more valid? Sir, oral evidences are more valid if you compare with documentary. The reason is oral evidences are cross-examined always. Means once you attend the court, I am oral evidence, I am giving oral evidence. If I am attending the court, I am going to be cross-examined. So the chances of truth are more. Documents can be fake or false. You have certificate, it is false or fake. So sometimes it is not cross-examined. So if you had a question, which evidence is more valid? The answer is oral evidence. It is more valid. Now, sir. IEA, Indian Evidence Act, I already told you, it is related with the witness and evidences. First is a common witness. Common witness is a person who see any fact or crime, who observe 
any fact or crime that is a common witness and doctor sahab this is first hand knowledge rule first hand knowledge rule that is used for common witness it is the most common witness the common witness is the most common witness that is a common witness if i have seen a crime maine murder hote hue dekha hai i am a common witness most common who had seen any fact or crime is example of common witness expert witness sir expert witness is a qualified person who is making an opinion expert witness is a qualified person who is making an opinion example doctor example fingerprint expert example firearm expert example chemical examiner example serologist these all are expert witness and doctor sir remember expert witness are given in 45 indian evidence act expert witness are given in 45 indian evidence act at the definition doctor sir what is a very important difference between common witness and expert witness expert witness when goes in court he can volunteer the statement means with his will he can go for the statement some statement he can add with voluntarily that is known as volunteering of the statement so if you get a question volunteering of the statement is done by expert witness remember my my dear friend expert witness can also be a common witness expert witness is a qualified person he can also be a common witness but common witness cannot be expert witness that is also very important sometime a question comes in exam doctor is an example of expert witness common witness both the answer will be both or it can be any type of witness expert witness so volunteering of the statement i am highlighting again and again it is only a power of expert witness first hand knowledge rule this is common witness very very important sir now sir i am coming to few type of evidences my first evidence is direct evidence direct evidence directly proves the fact directly proves the fact a very simple example this is a this is b this is a this is b a stabbed b or killed b and c has seen this whole sequence c has seen this whole sequence so c is a direct evidence because c has seen this a killed b this is a direct very simple now sir i am coming to the second part here say evidence direct you have directly seen that incidence or crime you are at direct evidence here say here say what is here say now c who has seen that came out he came out from that room or from the crime scene and this c told c told this to d c communicated this to d that i have seen that a killed b but sir d has no relation as a direct evidence d is just heard this so d is an example of hearsay evidence i heard something that c told me like a killed b so d is an example of hearsay evidence and my dear friend hearsay evidence is not valid in indian court so i have told you two evidences till now number 1 direct evidence c has seen the crime c is a direct evidence number 2 hearsay evidence c came out from the crime scene then he told to the d so d heard that c told him that a killed b so d is an example of d is an example of hearsay evidence okay now i am coming to the third very very important word indirect evidence and doctor sir one of the example of the indirect evidence is corroborative evidence collateral from which an inference may be withdrawn 
collateral from which we can get the interpretation or inference may be withdrawn. That is a corroborative or indirect evidence. I am giving example. C. A killed B. Now A was coming out from the room with knife. With knife. A was coming out from the room with knife and I have seen I have seen A coming out with the knife. I have not seen the murder but I have seen the A was coming out with the knife. I am a indirect evidence and I am an example of corroborative evidence. Inference which is taken out from the collaterals. This is this is corroborative evidence, a supportive evidence. I have not seen the crime, but I have seen the A was coming out from the room. So I am an example of, so I am giving, I am Dr. Akhilesh. I have seen this. So I am an example of corroborative evidence. One more example, one more example of uh, indirect evidence. So one example of the indirect evidence is corroborative. One more example of the indirect evidence is circumstantial evidence. One more example of indirect evidence is circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence. See, a fingerprint, FP is fingerprint found in the crime scene. A fingerprint found in the crime scene. So that will be a circumstantial evidence. FP is fingerprint. So again, I'm revising my dear friend, all the things in detailed manner. Direct evidence, if you have seen the crime. Here's evidence which is not valid. If you heard something, but not directly seen, that's a here's evidence. Indirect evidence, collateral taken and inference may be withdrawn. What are the two examples of the indirect evidence? Corroborative. You have not seen, but like see, you have seen A was coming out with the knife from the room. This is corroborative evidence. And circumstantial evidence, like A's fingerprint present in the crime scene, that is a circumstantial evidence. This is very, very important. Direct, indirect, hearsay, circumstantial, corroborative, all example. Indirect, we can classify in corroborative and circumstantial if you want.